with assistant boss Darren Stamp after an insane game, seven goals, coming out with a victory. Yeah, it's bonkers when you look back, isn't it? Um, stood there in the second half, 3 0 down, thinking, oh my god, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, from nowhere, lads, lads pull it together, get their ideas, like we said to them at half time, look, we're still in this game, even though we conceded just before half time. Still felt that we were the better team, still felt that we'd create because you've seen us all season now. As long as we can keep up, um, keep it out at the other end, if we can keep clean sheets, the odd goal, we know we're always going to create chances. With the people that we've got in the team, people going forward, we know we're always going to score goals. So, like you say, when we went 3 0 down, it's we'll give ourselves far too much to do, but that just shows you the, the belief and the character in this dressing room to go and get four goals the way that they did. Fair play to him. Can't knock them at all. Exactly. Uh, nil. Sorry, at 3-0. There wasn't anything between the sides. We just didn't seem to really get going, but Stafford didn't really have to either. No, I mean, our first half game plan like nearly worked down to a tee. We knew what it was going to be like. We knew that it, the, the wind was going to play a big part in the game. It's not the best pitch. The rain started as well. Getting at 0-0, we knew that we had a chance. Um, and for 44 minutes, they did exactly what we asked them to do. Keep it out be strong, be big, clear the balls, and then second half we know that we're going to create a chance. And that's that's the story of our season, really. We know that come the second half, with the players that we've got, we're always going to create. So just to have that penalty just in the last minute of the first half was a bit of a kick, was a bit of a, of a blow for us. But like you say, the way that we responded after the third goal goes in, they, they needed two more goals. But then from that point onwards, like you said, two man, absolutely superb. I know a few supporters around me from the sort of Stafford perspective saying at 3-0 they felt they needed to change the game and they could see a reaction coming but nobody could write that surely well no it's it's one of them where um, they're good at what they do like the, the long throw causes problems you, you look at that long throw in any league it's, it's more accurate it's better than having a corner a free kick because you know exactly where it's going to go every time we knew what was coming we asked the lads to stand up and be big and be strong and they did for the vast majority of the second goal that Obviously, the second goal was the one where it's kind of maybe two, if not three headers before the goal goes in again. And that's something we've still got to work on, still got to get right, because that's been a few times now this season where we've been undone by that. But just speaking to Dylan there at the end, we'll, we'll work on it until we get it right, because as long as we can keep it, keep them out at that end, we know that we're always going to score goals. And that never say die attitude from 1 to 11, the substitutes just need praise in the highest. Yeah, I mean, that just shows the the character of all of them, every single one of them. Like As soon as that first goal went in, a lot of teams could have said, oh, it's a consolation goal. But no, get that ball out of the net, get it back and let's go get another. Then the second, then the third. Honestly, I, will, I almost couldn't believe it when the fourth one go, went in and there was still 10 minutes to go. So it's crazy, really. But what a mad game of football. But like you say, we'll come away with three points. It's a, it's a great victory for us. Cheers for your time, Stampy. No, it's cheers.